हेलो मॉली हेलो सैंडी आंट यू कमिंग टू बूडोज बर्थडे पार्टी यस ये आई एम कमिंग देन वाई डेंट यू गेट रेडी फॉर द पार्टी गेट रेडी बट आई एम रेडी लुक आई वो माई बेस्ट ड्रेस टू वॉट यूल वेयर दिस ड्रेस फॉर द पार्टी वाई इज इन माई ड्रेस प्रीटी इट इज वेरी सिंपल डोंट यू हैव समथिंग मोर कलरफुल टू वेयर मोर कलरफुल यस कलरफुल लाइक रेड और रेड आई डू हैव अ रेड ड्रेस वेट आई विल गो एंड चेंज इट आई मीट यू एट द पार्टी मॉली ओके सी यू Hello Molly. Hi Gobby. Are you coming for the party? Oh yes, we will get a cake to eat. I am in a so much of a hurry to go there. I have been ready for it since early morning. Yes, I am in a hurry too. How do I look in this dress, Gobby? Your dress is okay, um, but uh, I don't like its color. Red is so bright. I think you look good in light colors like blue or green. Blue? I have a blue dress, but Sandy said, "Never mind. I think you are right. Wait, I will go and change it." Okay, Molly. Hurry. I will see you at the party, and I can save your share of the cake if you want. No, it's okay. I will see. Aisha, hello Molly. Wow, your dress is so beautiful. Thank you, Aisha. I wore it for the birthday party. What are you saying? You will wear this dress for the party? But you just said it is beautiful. Yes, but it is just a birthday party. What if it gets spoiled? You should save it for a bigger occasion. Look, even I am wearing a simple dress. Oh, is that so? I think you are right. I will go and change it. All right, don't be late, Molly. Hey, Molly, why didn't you come to the party? Is the party over? Hey, Sasha. Hey, Molly. We all enjoyed a lot. We waited for you, and then we gave your share of the cake to Gobby. <laughs> I wanted to come to the party. I was getting ready for it. <laughs> don't cry, Molly. Please don't cry. Don't cry, Molly. Stop crying, Molly. Yes, we all enjoyed a lot. We all waited for you. I ate the cake after waiting for you. I think only why you could make her feel happy again. Then let us call him. Oh, oh why you? Please, please come. We all need your help. Hello, dear friends. Hey, all of you are dressed up so nicely, Molly. Your dress is so pretty. But why are you so sad? He's sad because he missed Budo's birthday party. <laughs> I was getting ready for the party. I changed my dress four times, so I got late. Four times? But why did you do so, dear? Because everyone asked me to. For Sandy told me to wear red dress. When I wore a red dress, Gobi said he didn't like it, so I changed it. And wore a blue dress, and then Shaisha told me that it would get spoiled in the party, so I changed it again. I was too late for the party. All right, so that is how you missed Budo's birthday party. Yes. Why you are really sorry? sorry? Well, it would not be easy to tell who was right and who was wrong. Hmm, I recall something like that happened to my friend Jody. What happened to your friend Vayu? Molly, we are, we are very, very sorry. sorry. Tell us what happened. We all want to know. Yes, tell us what happened. We all want to know. My friend. Well, then let me tell you. My friend Jody had a donkey. He lived with his son Tony in a small village. 
Doni, are you ready, son? Okay, father. Untie the donkey. We shall start now for the market, or we shall be late. All right, father. of your donkeys what do you mean i asked that because none of you is riding upon that donkey what good is a donkey for if not to ride upon <laughs> strange i was thinking the same thing too here why don't you ride upon it See that lazy young boy. How can he ride upon a donkey and let his father walk in the sun? Yes, who knows? Maybe his father did give him the right values. What do they know about the values I've passed on to my son? Father? Do we really have to do what everybody else asks us to do? Come on, Tony. One should be nice to everyone. For his comfort, he has let that young boy walk in the bright sun while he rides alone on that donkey. Oh, poor boy! He seems to be so tired. No pity. How sad. You look tired, son. Why don't you two come and ride with me? What? Why are you stopping us? I wanted to see your face. No wonder. There's no shame on your face. Shame? Aren't you ashamed of overloading the poor donkey with you and your bulky son? Oh God, who will make people like these understand? I pity the poor donkey. I have tried to make people understand that animals are living beings too. What does that old man know about me? I have always treated Tony and the donkey the same, like my children. Nobody has to tell me that the donkey is also a living being. I can see that the donkey is tired now, and I know what to do too. Here, help me tie the donkey's legs to the stick. What are we doing, Father? What else can we do? We will now carry the donkey on our shoulders. The old man was right. A donkey is a living being too. What have I done? My donkey. My donkey. <laughs> Are all three of you donkeys?
<laughs> I asked that because none of you is riding upon that donkey. <laughs> what good is a donkey for if not to ride upon? <laughs> I could not stop laughing when I heard the whole story too. So, did you all like the story, friends? Yes, why you very much. Why you? If Jodi had not listened to everyone, then the poor donkey would not have fallen into the river. Well, he was a nice man, but he tried to please everyone and as you all saw, he was able to please none. You mean one who tries to please everyone? We'll never be able to please anyone. Oh, now I know. I try to please everyone too. And see, I miss the party. And you miss the cake too. Ha! <laughs> Why you? We really enjoyed a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Why you? We all had lot of fun. I enjoyed the story, and I have learned my lesson too. Thank you, Why you? You are always welcome, friends. All right, friends. Time to say goodbye until we meet again. Bye bye, friends. Bye bye, bye, -bye you. I'll have them all and I will not have to come here every day. It's so tiring. I shall reach early today. Thank you, Parrot. But I want you to give me the guavas all at once. Hello, are you listening? I want all the guavas. Give me all the guavas. Gobi, what have you done? You scared the parrot. What are you saying? Then who will give me the guavas to eat? You should have thought of it before scaring him. <laughs> now stop crying, Gobi. Uh, why you, Uncle? <laughs> oh, why you, Uncle? <laughs> uh, hey, Gobi. What's the matter? Why are you crying? Did someone hurt you? Hello, why you? Hello, Pete. You tell me what happened. Why you? You know what Gobi just did? Well, you wanted to get all the golden eggs at once from the goose. The goose? Yes, the one which laid the golden eggs. Golden eggs? Yes, it lived on Kevin's farm. Kevin? Oh, why you? Please tell us the whole story. Yes. Please. Well, all right then. One day. Like every. 
Every other day, Kevin, a countryman, went to collect eggs from his bird's pen. What is that? It's heavy, like lead. Somebody has played a joke on me. Well, let me take it home. I'll take a closer look and then decide what to do with it. Golden egg? You mean pure gold? Yes! Pure gold! And that means a lot of money! Kevin sold the egg and got good money for it. Every morning, the goose laid a golden egg for him. He used to sell it to earn more money. Soon, he became a rich man. Kevin, my dear Kevin, I wish we had more money. Then we could be the richest family in the whole village. The landlord still has a bigger house and more land than we do. And I don't want you to work any more for the money. Just like him. Oh, Rita. I'm sure it will happen soon. After all, our goose lays only one egg a day. It will take some time before we get so rich. I was thinking, why don't we get all the eggs at once? After all, we know the goose has all the golden eggs inside. Oh yes, that's a very good idea, Rita. Why not cut the goose open and get all the gold at once? You, you wait here. I'll get the goose right now. So Kevin got the goose and cut it open. Guess what he found? He found nothing inside the goose and he killed it too. So, in his greed he killed the bird which could have made him the richest man in not just the village but the whole country. If only he had been patient. What have I done? My goose! My goose with the golden eggs is no more. <laughs> so, you see, greed often overreaches itself. That was a wonderful story, Vayu. Yes, and now I know. I became greedy like Kevin. I'm sorry, Uncle. Thank, Thank you, Vayu. You. You're always welcome, friends. Now it's time to say goodbye. We will meet very soon again. Bye-bye, Vayu. Bye-bye, friends. Short peak. I'm tired now. Hi everyone. What are you doing? Hello Molly. We are playing cricket. I want to play cricket too. <laughs> you cannot play Molly. Why can't I play Sandy? Well, because you're not strong. You'll get tired in some time. No, I won't get tired. I want to play. All right then. You'll have to field the ball. I will get it. Here, here. Wait, I get the ball. All right then. Now you throw it. <laughs> Run, Molly. Go get the ball. Oh no! It rolled down into the ditch. I have to get it, or Sandy won't let me play. How do I get it? Let me try. I have to climb down. Ah, ah. Oh, yay! 
I got it. Oh no, how do I get out now? Why is Molly taking so long? I told her she couldn't play. I didn't hit the ball so hard. Where is she? Let's go and find her. Where is she? <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> it's Molly. She's crying. But where is she? Here, she's here. Molly, what are you doing there? Sandy! <laughs> I came down to get the ball. Now I can't come out. <laughs> Stop crying, Molly. We are here. We will help. How are we going to help her out? I don't know, but we will have to do something. Maybe one of us should go down and help her out. I don't think that's a good idea. Who will help the one who goes down to help Molly? Yes, you're right. So what do we do now? <laughs> I wish Vayu and Maya were here. Yes, Vayu and Maya. Let's call them. Oh Vayu, please come be all need your help. Oh Maya, please come be all need your help. My poor little angel. Well, it's good that you didn't hurt yourself. What's the matter? Oh, you were almost in the same situation as the goat. The goat? Yes, the one who jumped into the well after listening to the fox. Fox the well? Oh, Vayu, please tell us the story. Please, we all want to hear it. Yes, Vayu. I think we are all ready for a story now. Yes, 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 yes please. Well, all right then. One day, one day a fox was out on a hunt and fell into a deep well. He tried and tried and tried again and again and again, but couldn't manage to come out on his own. Oh, my God. Phew. Oh, I guess I'll have to wait here for some help. I don't know how long I would have to wait. Excuse me. Can you hear me? Ah, well, I guess not for very long. Well, hello. Of course, I can hear you. I was just passing by and I saw this well. I'm feeling thirsty, so I want to know how the water is down there. Is it good? Good? What do you mean good? The water is not just good, it is safe and sweet too. I've been having the water from this well since I was a baby and my mother brought me here for the first time. And my mother had been using it since her mother brought her here when she was a baby. So you see, no one else would know better than I about this water. Oh, I am really lucky. I found this well and I found you. I was really very thirsty. So what are you waiting for? The water is all down here. Come down and quench your thirst. Oh yes, yes. Here I come. Well, the water is really very good. Hmm, the water is very tasty. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, that's all right. But there is one thing that I forgot to tell you. I mean, nothing very important as such, but... Uh, 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 what is it? You see, getting out of the well would be a little problem. Oh my God, how will I get out of this well now? Well, don't worry. I'll help you get out of here. Oh, you are so nice. Tell me, how would you do that? 
Well, all you have to do is stand with your front legs on the wall and bend your head. I'll run up your back and get out first. Then I shall reach down and pull you up. You see, I'm very strong. After all, I have been drinking from this well since I was a kid. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> well, now you enjoy the water until someone comes to save you. Bye-bye. What? what do you mean? You promised me. You cannot break your promise. How will I come out? <laughs> You're so naive, old fellow. You should have thought about it before jumping down in that well. Now help yourself if you can because here I go. <laughs> So you see, always look before you leap. Yes, and now I know. I jumped into the deep just because I wanted to get the ball. And I didn't think how I will come out. Yes, dear. All of you should take a moment to think about any action you are about to take and then jump into it. If you don't, at times you could land up in trouble. Yes, just like I did. Look at my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ayu. Thank you, Maya. You're always welcome, friends. Now it's time to say goodbye. We'll meet very soon again. Bye-bye, my little angel. Bye-bye, Ayu. Bye-bye, Maya. Bye-bye, friends. friends. Bobby, what are you doing? Playing. Playing? What? With whom? With the cuckoo. It will come to sit here on the tree. It does every day. Cuckoo? You mean the bird that sings? Oh, does it? I don't know. I haven't heard him yet. I gave him nuts to eat every day. He has the nuts and then flies away. Look, here it comes. Hey, Gobi, is that him? Yes, it looks like a crow to me. No, he is a cuckoo. I know it. How do you know that? I saw his picture in the book. He is a cuckoo. Then why is it not singing? I don't know. He never sings. I don't think it's a cuckoo. Sandy. Hello, Gobby. What are you two doing? Let's play. We are with the cuckoo. Cuckoo? <gasps> yes, look, it's up there on the tree. Hey, that's a crow. No, he is a cuckoo. I saw his picture in a book. Yes, both the cuckoo and the crow have the same color black. But this one is a crow. You don't know anything. I give him nuts to eat every day. I know it's a cuckoo. We have one more cuckoo here now. They, they are crows, Gobi. Shut up. Go away if you don't want to play with my cuckoo. I just wish why you were here to solve the problem. <laughs> oh, they are crows. You were right, Bobby and Sandy. Hello, dear friends. What's happening? Why are you? Why are you? You know why you? What happened today? Why do we all 
Well, it was like the donkey in a lion's skin. The donkey? Which donkey were you? Well, the washerman Paddy's donkey. Oh, really? But why was he in a lion's skin? Oh, are you? Please tell us the whole story. Yes, please. Well, all right then. One day, a hunter left a lion's skin for drying in the grazing field. Paddy's donkey used to come to the grazing field every day. And like every other day, he was into his daydreams when he saw the lion's skin. Same routine, the same Paddy, the washerman. I'm fed up of doing the same thing over and over again. I wish I could be someone else. <laughs> Lion. Uh, uh, it's just a skin. Let me have a closer look. Let me go and have some water from the pond. I look like a lion. So the hare ran because he thought I am a lion? Let me go to the village and see what Paddy does when he sees me. So scared of me. And look at Paddy. <laughs> I'm the king now. I'm the king now. Oh my god. <laughs> huh? It's my donkey. Wait, I'll teach him a lesson. You stupid little donkey, you scared everyone and caused so much panic. But you forgot that fine clothes can disguise, but silly words will disclose a fool. <laughs> it was a very good story, were you? So, a crow may have the same looks like a cuckoo, but he will not be able to hide his identity once he speaks. So, what does that mean? It means it is not the looks that count. Looks may sometimes disguise, but good qualities are what matter. So, to be as good as somebody else, do not just try to look like him, 
but also imbibe his qualities. Oh, thank you, Ayu. You are always welcome, friends. Now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, bye, bye Ayu. Bye, bye, friends. Help, help, somebody please help me. Saisha, is that Sandy's voice? Yes, I think he is in trouble. Trouble? What trouble? How would I know? Let's go and find out. Yes, let's go. Sandy, what's wrong? Let me go and find out. Help, help, somebody please help me. <coughs> Sandy, wait, I'm coming. Him too. But where is he? I don't know. Help, help, somebody please help me. There, his voice is coming from there. Let's go. Quick. Where is he? I don't see him. But his voice came from here. I hope he's alright. Sandy, Sandy, where are you? <laughs> help me! Somebody please help me! Sandy, you're alright? Then why? Oh, so you're having fun! Sandy, you raised the false alarm again! Oh, Sandy! This is very bad, Sandy. The other day, you lied about Bobby falling into the river and drowning. And today you played a prank on us again? Where is Sandy? I don't see him anywhere. But the voice came from here. I hope he's alright. Sandy, Sandy, where are you? <laughs> help me. Help me. Somebody please help me. <laughs> I wish why your uncle would be here. Yes, he would have taught Sandy a lesson. Oh, why oh, are you uncle? Please come. Oh, oh, I need your help. Hello, dear friends. What are all of you doing here? Why you, uncle? Why you, uncle? Why, why you? Why, why are you? They all came running to help me. Gobi running. <laughs> well, they all came running to help you. Why you? He played a prank on us again. Well, well, well. I must say you were luckier than the shepherd boy, Sandy. The shepherd boy? Yes, the one who used to take the flock of sheep for grazing. Which flock of sheep, Vayu? The one that the wolf attacked. Oh, Vayu, please tell us the story. Please, please. Yes, please. Well, all right then. There was this grazing field near the forest. I used to pass it often. A shepherd boy from his nearby village used to lead his flock of sheep to the grazing field. Why you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. It's been a long time since you visited us. Yes, I had been to the village on the other side of the forest to see my friends. Wow, you do a lot of traveling. I'm sure you enjoy it. Yes, I enjoy visiting all my friends. Don't you enjoy meeting your friends? 
me <laughs> i enjoy meeting them too all my friends live in the village itself so when i feel like meeting them i don't have to go anywhere to meet them they come running whenever i want them to <laughs> to be honest i didn't understand a word of what he said to me let me guess you don't understand do you i'll show you and then suddenly he started shouting in panic Wolf! Wolf! Oh my God! Somebody save us! The wolf is killing the sheep! Help! Help! Don't worry, son. We are here now. Don't worry, son. We are here now. We'll not let anything happen to you. Oh! Oh! Hold it! Wait! Wait a minute! Where is the wolf? Yes! Where is the wolf? We don't see any wolf here. <laughs> Where is the wolf? Are you? <laughs> look at them! Look at their faces! Why you? Oh my God! <laughs> They want to know where the wolf is. <laughs> oh, now I understand. You lied to us again. Has he done this earlier too? Several times, why you? He keeps playing these pranks on us. This is the fourth time that he has called us to save his flock from the wolf, and every time we have come running, dropping everything that we were doing. Come on, friends, let's go back to work. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> You heard that, why you? <laughs> I made a fool out of them four times in the same way too. <laughs> Either they are stupid or I'm really smart. <laughs> That's very bad of you. You should not trouble them this way. All of them left their work and rushed to help you. They are not stupid. They really care for you. Oh, hold it! Wait, wait a minute. Where is the wolf? <laughs> Where is the wolf? Are you? <laughs> He showed no interest in what I said. He just kept on laughing. So I decided to leave. I passed by the same place again a few days later. I met the boy again, but he was a changed person, and this is what he told me. I was with my sheep yesterday, and I saw a real wolf running towards my flock of sheep. Somehow managed to save himself, hiding behind a tree. But he could not save his flock, as nobody from the village came for help. I called, screamed, shouted for help. I kept screaming, wolf, 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 until my throat was hurting from all the screaming. Later, the villagers said they thought I was playing a prank again. It's all my fault. I have learnt my lesson, but I have paid a heavy price. I lost all my sheep. <laughs> yes. Nobody believed him that time, and it was not their fault, because liars have no believers. You are right, Uncle. I am luckier than the shepherd boy, as I have friends like them. I promise, I shall never raise a false alarm in jest again. That's very good, Sandy. Thank you, Uncle. You are always welcome, friends. Well, time to say goodbye. We'll meet very soon again. Bye bye friends
Oh, Budo, what are you doing? Just look at yourself. Oh, Budo. Gobi. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sandy. Why do you always sleep, Gobi? I was not sleeping. I was eating the pastries. Oh, where are my pastries? Look there. I think he knows where they are. Oh no, Budo, wait. I'll teach you a lesson. Wait, Gobi. What are you doing? And he's our little friend too. Yes, yes. I know he's just a baby. But how can he be our friend? Why not? Friends take care of each other. But he's so small. He cannot take care of anyone. Oh come on Gobi he will one day you just see I know he just causes trouble Already looked for it everywhere. I could not find it. Why did you throw it so hard, Pete? Now you have to find it. Yes, you go and find it. Did you look for it behind those tiny bushes? Yes, yes, yes. I looked everywhere. Then you should have found it. Yes, then you should have found it. Why don't you believe me? I could not find it anywhere because you didn't look for it everywhere. Pete is right. Why do you always run from hard work? And did you look behind those trees? No, he is lying. Gobby, we will not play with you if you don't get the ball. Now go and get the ball. But ah, uh, I looked. Oh, Gobby, go and look for it again. <coughs> Gobby, I came right when you called me, dear. But everyone asked me to be quiet and see what was happening. You know why you? What happened the other day? Well, you were right, Sandy. At first, the king of the forest didn't believe it too. But finally, he had to believe it. The king of the forest? You mean the lion? Yes, the lion. What did he not believe? He didn't believe what the mouse said to him. Oh, really? But what did the mouse say to him? The mouse said what Sandy said to Gobi. Oh, why you please tell us the whole story from the beginning? Yes, yes why you please? please? Well, all right then. One day, the lion was resting near the middle of the forest under a tree. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down uh, and broke his crown. Uh, 
Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Thank you. Thank you very much. Once more, once more. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down. Thank you. Thank you very much. King of the forest, please forgive me. I want uh, to say something. <sighs> oh, thank you, uh, thank you for letting me speak. You know, King, uh, the King of the forest. I mean, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. I will be grateful for your kindness. And uh, 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 I promise, yes, uh, promise, I will return your favor someday. Uh, uh, I promise, yes, uh, I promise, I will return your favor someday. I mean it. What do you think? It's a gentleman's promise. <laughs> <laughs> you are <laughs> going to do me a favor sometime. Oh, you are very funny. Don't worry, I will not kill you because you made me laugh. But never ever trouble me again. Go, you are free now. <laughs> A few days after that incident, a hunter caught the lion in a trap. Oh! oh, King! What happened? Who did this to you? A hunter trapped me. And now he has tied me here and gone to get some help so that he can take me with him. Alas, I will never be free again. Oh, don't you worry, King. What good would I be if I could not cut that net for you? I'm free again. Yes, you are, friend. I mean, your majesty. You are a true friend, dear. I apologize for making fun of you the other day. You have really done me a favor that I will never ever forget. Thank you, my little big friend. Well, thank you. Thank you, your majesty. Uh, I mean, friend. Dim dana dim dana dim dana dana na 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 dim dana dim dana So you see never judge a friend for his size or might because sometimes your little friends may do you a big favor That was a wonderful story by you Yes and now I know I was wrong when I made fun of Budo the other day. And Sandy was right. I'm sorry, Sandy. And I'm sorry, my little big friend Budo. Oh, Vayu, we all like the story very much. Thank, Thank you, Vayu. Now it's time to say goodbye. We'll meet very soon again. Bye bye, Vayu. Bye bye, friends. <laughs> <laughs>